I seem to have gotten myself into a sticky situation. <laughs> I can't even see. There's nothing but just snot everywhere. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> that was crazy. That was a lot of slime. Oh, All right. Today, guys, today, welcome back. Hi, hi. We're going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. We're going to be adding on to Toon Towers, a significant building. It's going to go eh, right around here. So in case you missed it, it was two episodes ago. We made this pretty cool slime farm where it w works on bubble vaders and iron golems in the side. And instead of dropping the slime out to the side, they bubble vate up to the top, swoop in off to the sides here. Go inside, get processed and refined down to their smaller bits, down to the middle thing, and then you know, we're going to take them up to the surface to have some fun with them. So yeah, this past week over on Twitch during some of the live streams, I did a little bit more work on here and I finished the slime processificator here where they, they break into smaller bits and then fall down to the hole here. I don't, I honestly don't even know why this guy's getting hurt. Like, can slime hit three blocks away? That just seemed, you know what, let's repair this guy because he's going to die. Where's my, where's my iron biddies? Take this out of here, do that, do this, give me that. I'm gonna probably need more. Do this, give me that. There we go. See, look, like, can these guys, I know the golem is swinging at them sometimes, which again, it's, just, oh, hi, you wanna, you wanna kill me. No, go into the fire. The fire's where you belong. So we gotta repair our friend here. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, he's good. He's all good now. And look, the other guy over here already died too. I have no idea how the slime are hitting them from that far away. And new golem. Excellent work. Get in there. All right, buddy. This time, try try to die less. Less than last time. Yeah, just, just look pretty. Good job. So, the way this works now is the slime go up into the fire. The little guys fall down here. They go down a little happy water track here. And then there's a golem back there. There's a peek a -poo that is uh, enticing them to come forward down to here. Look how happy they all are. They're just so happy to come over here. Um, and then they swoop down here slowly. I need to put like a golem back there. I think I want to do that. Uh, and then from here, did I put the lava up at the top? I don't remember. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, it is time to do some building here. We got our little slime blobettes coming up to the surface behind me over there. So we need to make a, a, a processing facility that is worthy of Toon Towers, a way to store the toxic sludge from below. Oh, this is amazing. This is so good. <laughs> Look at it. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> the slime is just like, oh, it's just, it's just all dripping out. All that toxic sludge. <laughs> well, I'm so happy with this. Look, we have like a little, a little containment area here, like a little preliminary processing area. I want to do a little bit more with that. I've got some ideas that we may get to in a bit, actually. And then we have this great piping. Bleh, I fell in a hole. And then we have this amazing piping system that just goes all the way up, over, and down. I'm super pleased with how this turned out. But this is just the beginning of the build. We are going to build something massive here with something even better in it. But I just had this idea with, with this right here. Like, wouldn't it be great? Maybe I should, like, catch. Because, like, there's this area inside here, okay? It's, like, just a hollow here, right here. What if I got like four or five slimes and, and kind of pulled them out inside here and then name tagged them so that they were kind of like bouncing around in here like they're always being processed or something? I think I don't, I, I, I could put like a hundred in there, but then lag would be a concern, but it would be great to have a few in there. Uh, let me get some name tags. Oh, so many volunteers. There we go. There's one. Grab some more. Grab some more. Let's see. We got another guy over there. We got one guy right there. We'll get him. Get another guy. Where's where? Who is it named it? You come back in here. 
your name now. And last but not least, hey, stop! We got enough here. <laughs> last but not least, I gotta, I gotta find the ones that are not named now. Okay, you. I think that's, I think that is four, five. Let me, let me kill the ones that aren't named. And close the hole. I think, uh oh, I have another piece of glass. I must have missed something somewhere. <laughs> that's not good. Uh, well, uh, let's just hope it's fine. Look at all the slime falling out of here. <laughs> well, that works. That works. I think we got five guys bouncing around in there doing their little bouncy thing. I think it adds a little bit something to this like pre-processing chamber here. So, uh, we're good. We got that. We got the piping. We got them dropping out. Now we just need something for them to fall into. <laughs> Toxic sludge pit uh, with the little green slimy monsters coming out. I love this thing. Okay, so we got. Hold on, where's my rockets? I gotta need rockets. Okay, there we go, rockets. Okay, so we've got. Let me stand up on the creeper here. Hang on, we've got our like our toxic uh, sludge pit of slimosity with the slime just dripping in and oozing in the side there. And, uh, and we got a little bit of creature. We got a little bit of creature coming into the side, coming up the sides here. And we had a giant eye there and a little baby eye, you know, just hanging out on the side over here. These guys are amazing. So the reason though, there's a reason we did this. You guys are thinking like, it's, look, it's looking probably empty, right? We're not done. We're not done because I had to build these guys first because the thing we're going to do now is going to be built around them. And what we're going to do is the age old trick of doing, you guys know the deal, right? With uh, hang on a second, let me get a little something, something here. This, that, da, da, da. we're going to do like a glass thing, right? Like a layered glass thing. That's going to make it look like a fog effect down here, but I'm going to do it a little bit different and I'm going to sprinkle in some like, like green stuff like this every once in a while, just for a little off coloration. And I'm hoping, I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm hoping, it gives off like almost like little bubbles in the water just a little bit of noise so that the, the, it looks dirty in here that's the goal so I have a lot of glass to place I got that I got this I got that I got this we got everything uh, let's get busy that was not a small amount of glass I'll have you know <laughs> That was a ton of glass oh my gosh okay well I think we pulled it off here I think we pulled it off we have like bubbling effervescent toxic slime nasty in here this is great like you can't i love how like the the slime creatures the eyeballs just kind of they just kind of fade away into the fog you really can't even see like where they start and everything so this effect is great hold on i want to i want to check it out from a higher from a higher uh plateau here let's see uh, let me go, we'll go up on top of the we'll go up on top of the slime tube here here we go go over the edge here look at that Oh, this is so good. Okay, so there is one more thing I want to do now, but I don't think I'm going to get to it today because I am running out of time here, but I want to get like, uh, do I even have them? Oh, I think I got them down here. Let's see. Got some glass panes. Yes. Okay. So here's what I want to do now. I want to, I'm going with the, like the, the bubbly toxic stuff here. I want to make it like it's coming. It's like bubbling out even too. So the way I want to pull this off and I get, and again, I'm not going to get to it. I'll probably do this in a live stream or something, but like, 
like this, like that, and this is just this is the part that just takes a ton of time and patience. Scar is really good at this, but like you can do stuff like that and like that, right? And maybe another little guy over here and kick some of these guys up there like that, and they just break this, right? And then you get like this like bubble effect of like little little air bubbles bubbling up out of the water, and I'll probably do that with like. 80% lime and then maybe a little bit of green as well too and I think that is gonna make an, a crazy cool effect uh, So we'll get to that later, but what I want to do today though what I do want to do here is get an actual we, we actually have to collect the slime from our slime farm, you know details details, right? So I think I don't think a one by one is gonna be enough Nope, so we're gonna have to go three by three here Which is unfortunate because it's gonna kind of break the effect a little bit but we got, I think this is our 3x3 three three right there. So like this one's still the center. Yes, okay. So now everyone should fall in here fine. So if I take this 3x3 three three all the way down, and then I can just put some kind of collection system down at the bottom, I think. And that'll do it. I think we are good with our slime farm here. I am so pleased with how this turned out. Little details, like little sample slimes bounced around on the pre-processor down there, the fog, and of course, the the green slime eye guys are just the best. I love these guys. We, we need a name for these guys. What, what do we call these guys? <laughs> I feel like they need a name. But anyways, we, we, we got our hole down here, 3x3 three three all the way down, just a little carpet thing. Pretty straightforward stuff down there with a little door here to go in and there you go the slime is already accumulating i'm we'll see how much we have next episode it's probably going to be all filled up all right guys i want to switch it up now and head back to the gaming district and get some work done on sticky bombs i've got some really good ideas on how to turn that game into something really special and then we are going to find someone to play with us and possibly blow them up Okay, back at the gaming district here. I've done some work on, uh, I forgot the name of the game. Uh, a sticky bomb! Sticky bomb, yeah, the sticky bomb. It's all about the sticky bombs. I got, this isn't done here. I'm gonna make a little bit better entrance here, hopefully this episode. But you step in here into the little, into the little foyer area, and you're already feeling like you're in a beehive with little mini sticky bombs sliding down the wall. Welcome to sticky bombs. And, uh, yeah, this is where you gotta, you gotta go down, gotta go down here. Whoop! And you gotta, you gotta ride the sticky. Hi, loud vouchers are, okay, I don't know what that means. Um, and then to get up, we're using a honey vader, which some of the other hermits have started doing. I didn't know what a honey vader was until I was informed I needed one. And now they're the greatest thing ever because honey blocks are not a full block wide. So I got a, I got a bubble vader in the back there. So all you gotta do is like stick your bits in the corner here and, whoop, and you just fly all the way up. And I mean, that is pretty cool elevator and then we got these amazing little bee themed areas now with actual bees living in here this is my first time i've ever done anything with bees but we decided to build like little honeycomb rooms here with little treetops and a beehive with actual bees and flowers and stuff did it on both sides basically just to kind of set the theme of the area and i think i think it's nice it's a little much needed entryway polish and stuff um we got a, a podium here or the uh lectern here that we will put a book on with the rules and stuff like that and i got some I got my supply bits and everything back here. We're, we're, we, need, we need more to do, but let's get to the game because today I want to make this game actually fun because it's not there yet. We kind of got some of the mechanics in place. I learned how to make, uh, how, to, how to use fishing poles actually better to get the items off the wall better by pulling back more. But the big thing I'm gonna do today is turn this into a competitive 1v1 game. So of course, this means the first thing I wanna do here is tear down this single opening and we're gonna add a wall in between the play area there. I think I wanna go with like a crying obsidian here to kind of accentuate the outlines of the rooms. And then of course, we gotta make it so that you can't jump across to the other side. So we're gonna go like that, like that. And I think I'm gonna just leave that open, I think. And who's been a busy little bee? That's right, this guy. Because jump ahead now and I'm pretty sure I just finished developing the entire game. Uh, but I mean, it's not, a, it's not a ton of changes, but it's a significant amount. Now, you're going to see some changes here. It is now a 1v1 game, and I think it's going to be a lot more fun. It's going to require some tweaking, but I want to get someone over here to play real soon. So, uh, rule number one, change. I mean, TNT falls from the wall, right, as it did before. And uh, if it falls off the bottom, it, an actual TNT will still fall in the room here. Nothing changed there. Snowballs will still fall from the wall. However, you do not craft them into boring little blocks and score a point. There are no points anymore. Now, snowballs are used to throw at your opponent's target up there. And if you are accurate, which I'm not sure it can be. No, nope, see, that was bad. That missed. But you did notice that the trapdoor is still closed. If you're accurate and you get pretty close to the bullseye, 
Bam, the light should go on and it should just... Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was supposed to... <laughs> Mmm, yeah, the TNT was supposed to drop on the other side. <laughs> so anyway, what's supposed to happen if you're not an idiot with redstone is you can throw a snowball at the other person's target, and if the light goes on, it means your shot was accurate, and it will... <laughs> I can't believe I messed that up. And it will drop a TNT on their side. So you want to collect snowballs and then kind of maybe watch their board, and when you see like a whole bunch of natural TNT falling, that's when you get it, and you just you just throw all the snowballs at them. Of course, you, get, you can only throw one at a time because the door does close for a little while to prevent spamming, but you want to you want to time your snowballs correctly. Okay, yeah, I literally had my wires crossed because I'm a moron. Okay, here we go. This should work now. If I if I can aim with the with the snowball, bam, light goes on. TNT drops in their side, and it is so there's still two drop uh, you know spots in each one, one and two, and it is just a 50/50 random. There's no pattern or anything as to which one it'll drop in, uh, and then we should be able to the other person. On, this is obviously not. No, no, no. Okay, well that was I didn't mean to hold the button down. All right, let's actually hit it at the uh, accuracy thing there. Okay, okay, bam and bam. Okay. Now, that was an excellent demonstration of the new hidey hole that we have here as well. So this is the button to start the game. Um, you Both sides do have a chamber of cowardice that they can flee into if they so choose. Uh, if, the, if they're just like, if there's two bombs out and they don't feel like they're going to survive, they can real quick try and jump in here. Obviously, there's a cost, though, because the items are still flowing down their board. More TNT, missed snowball opportunity. So it's not just a freebie. You don't want to camp out here because you're going to lose. Okay, I think we're... Uh, my, dare I say we're done here. I've been running some some tests here and stuff and like, you know, just checking the rates at which the snowballs and the and the TNT drop and everything. And I think I think we're pretty much good. So I got to just find someone that wants to come over here and be blown up. But check it out. We got we got this book here. Welcome to a stick it bombs. This is a 1v1 game and you will die. <laughs> Bring a friend that isn't afraid to be blown up. The object of the game is simple. Stay alive longer than your opponent. Store all items in the barrel, blah, blah, blah. Take a fishing rod. Press the button to start the game. During the game, snowball and TNT items will slide down the honey wall. Use fishing rods to pull them off and collect them. If a, T items, if a TNT item slides off the bottom of your, of your wall, it will uh, drop a lit TNT into your chamber. Cowards may hide in their side iron chambers from TNT blasts. Collect snowballs, and you can throw them at your opponent's targets high up on the wall. If you're accurate, the lamp will light, and a lit TNT will drop on their side. I'm super excited about this changing gameplay, because it adds like an offensive element with the snowballs. A lot of fun. Use the snowballs wisely. Trapdoor closes. Spamming isn't allowed. Take more fishing rods as needed. The game ends when you step on the wooden pressure plates right there. Have fun. All right, so that's the game. I'm going to put it back to page one here. Okay, good. So uh, we need a contestant. Welcome, contestant number one, Etho. Thank you for showing up here. I appreciate it. Hey, hey. All righty. How's it going? It's going good. Are you ready to uh, ready to be blown up a little bit? Yeah, yeah. You've uh, you got a nice little place down here. It's, it's honeylicious, yeah. <laughs> ignore, the, <laughs> ignore the minor explosive damage. Sometimes accidents happen here. You know? <laughs> Uh-huh. I like how this spot's like, oh, this is so nice and, and beautiful. And then over yep. here it's like, oh, I think I'm gonna die over yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. That's the death zone, yeah. So this is uh this is Sticky Bombs. It's a game about uh using a fishing rod to pull items off the wall and uh kill the other person. That's the simple version of it. There you go. <laughs> Got it. Got it. All Got right. it. Okay, so uh, do you want to read the book, or do you want me to just give you the verbal, or how, how do you want to do this? Do, do, do. Uh, I think uh, you got the general gist of it here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and explain things. Okay, so the, the way it works is basically uh, items. As once the game starts, I'll start the game over. He has a little secret button over here, um, and you'll be yeah. on this side or that side. I'll be over on this side, and uh, items are going to be sliding down the honey wall like snowballs and TNT items. Not not lit TNT, but just TNT items. Um, right, if a right. TNT item falls off your side of the wall, a lit TNT will fall in the room behind you, thus causing you panic and, you an, know, bad. An actual one, right? An From actual boom boom, here? yes, uh -huh, correct, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, gotcha. Snowballs are going to be sliding down the wall, too. If you grab those, then you could throw them at the opposite target. So you would want to hit that target high up on the wall behind me there. Gotcha, yeah. And if you're accurate... That'll, that'll drop TNT on exactly. your side? Exactly, but you got to hit, like, okay, right okay. in the middle of the bullseye, and if you hit it good, then the light will turn on, letting you know that it's confirmed, and yeah, and then uh, lit TNT will come in here. So it's, your snowballs are kind of like your offensive weapon. Ooh. 
Are the snowballs points at all, or are they nope. just like... Nope, it's just whoever stays alive the pretty longest. Pretty much just used on the target then, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, I originally had okay, like a gotcha. point system, and I just scrapped that, and it's like, now nah, about just killing the other people, so it's more fun this way. I I'm good to go here, yeah. Alrighty. And uh, don't fall in the lava, right? Yeah, generally that'd be a bad <laughs> bad way to go, too, yeah. Right. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Go! We go here? You're good, you're good. All right. Huh? We live? We go? Oh, we're yeah, live. here we're we go. We're good, yeah. I don't know if that's on my side. Ooh. I got like all the TNT right away. You did get a lot, yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, I hear it. Oh, no. <laughs> got me. You got me good on that one. I've been practicing. I've been practicing. I gotta get my game sounds up, I think. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, no. You said I can hide, right? Oh, yeah, yeah you can hide. Yeah, you can go okay. to the little hole back Ooh. there. Yep. Okay, okay. I'm getting, oh, I'm getting man. the hang of it. Woo! Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh no, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh no! No 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 no! <laughs> okay. uh, I thought I could trick you. I think you uh, were safe there. Oh, all the TNT. Oh, I I heard the trapdoor. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, Come. you're missing so many, Tango. I you know. Doing? You gotta be careful. Oh, there's another one. You <laughs> need to not be in here. Okay. I like getting that on my side now. <laughs> I know, right? So oh, here we go now. Now it's my turn. There you go, there you go. Oh snap, oh snap. How? Where's this TNT coming from? <laughs> so Tango, the way you play this game is you're supposed to take the TNT off the wall. Oh! Uh, not let it hit the bottom. I appreciate the, uh, the pro tip. Good, uh, oh, my fishing rod's <laughs> gone. Not. Get no. another one. You can get another one. Okay. Whoop! So many the, fishing rod kind of, the fishing rod kind of like sticks to it though pretty good. Oh man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Fishing rod out. Uh oh. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> bad timing. Ooh. Bad timing. Very bad timing. You, you, you should... Oh, oh I yes. See it. I did not see it. Oh man. I thought that was on your side. Oh, 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 oh. No more coming. <laughs> oh, you sneaky guy. You had like two on your side, and I heard the TNT go, and I thought it was yours. Would you like a rematch, sir? Oh, yes. After that <laughs> one, yeah, that came out of nowhere on me. Those accidental explosions, they get you every time. You got to be really observant in this you game. You do. You have to really listen, yeah. Uh, so listen, are you having trouble getting the snow blocks off the wall, or the snowballs off the wall? I felt like the TNT was easier to get off than the snowballs yes, for some reason. So I don't he, know if the items are a different size or something. No, no, no like, items are the same size. You know that. But the the deal is the TNT you only have to remove from the wall. The snowball you have to get over here, right? You have to clear the lava. So what you oh, wanted, like it's got to travel yeah, farther. It, it feels like it's coming to you, but it's really not. So a little pro tip right. what I do is once the snowball is hooked, kind of give a little back and then, uh, you know, like back away a little bit. And then okay. give it a yoink or or just a jump and pull or something like that. But if you step backwards, then the snowball will land in front of you and you go pick it up. Uh huh. It works oh, a little bit better, yeah. So I'm giving you inside the tips now. I got the game master secrets. That's now. right. I, See, I, now, now right. I'm done for. Yeah. <laughs> I got my block volume a little higher, so I can hear the TNT. Is, I basically yeah. stand no chance now. All right, here we go. <laughs> yep. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, Tango. All righty. Oh, TNT. Oh right man, right. I got. A double TNT. Oh, you're in trouble now, Tango. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> nope, nope, no, 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 oh, 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 which way are you running? <gasps> Everything's fine, everything's fine. Where is it? Is it really? <sighs> Come on, you got that one, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> I heard the door close. <laughs> Wait, you closed my door, but I didn't get one. Drop. I see you up there. <laughs> you're never missing now. <laughs> uh, I got it kind of locked in at this yep, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not even close. Oh man, I'm getting so many more snowballs now. With I know, tricks. now you know the tricks. I, can't, I shouldn't have given you all the tricks. Oh, you better pay attention to your board there, Tango. I know, you too, you <laughs> too. Yeah, you got a lot falling off your edge. <laughs> no, 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 secondary. <laughs> oh, he, he survived it. Have you dropped any on my side this time? I don't shush, know shush, just shush. <laughs> There we go. There we oh, go. Oh, there we go. Saw that one a mile away. Come on, Tango. Oh, nope. Right. Oh, nope. Here comes the TNT. No. No. <laughs> 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 
Run and I hide. don't like you! Run and, run and hide. <laughs> They're timed so perfect, I can't leave the room. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I thought that was you. Nope. <laughs> right. uh, oh. I got good news. I have two hearts. Oh, I'm gonna die right here. Yup. Oh, there he yeah. goes. Yes, oh. yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. You kind of had me pinned down there. <laughs> <laughs> you were super accurate with the snowballs. You're just like, pching, pching. Just well, at like first, I, got, I think I got like four or five in a row, and then I started uh, missing, though. Man, I could not hit it at all. But, all right, but things are just going crazy on your side. I know, yeah. I got all the, all the explosions. Uh, winner take all? Is that, is that what we're doing here? Let's do a tie break. Yeah, let's do it. Nice, I go. Okay, okay. Looking... Oh, I heard a click. What? I'm looking behind I'm hearing all kinds of clicks. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm so like, I'm, like paranoid. paranoid. No! Yeah, you it's should worry sizzles. about me. You should worry about yourself there, Tango. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. I got no snowballs on my side. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, dear. Okay, this isn't, this isn't going good, Tango. <laughs> it's going fantastic. I know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. I can recover. I can recover. Put you on edge. And... And... Uh oh, so now. <laughs> Come on! You're so <laughs> aggro with the snowballs! Oh, no! <laughs> it's just in! Is that where you want to be? No, it's not absolutely not where I want to be. Look at you! You're like a bullseye <laughs> master! What the heck? Uh, it's, it's easy when you're running around. Oh, now there's another one! <laughs> Okay, I gotta protect myself for a second. Oh no, no there's just too many now. I can't recruit. I can't recruit. No, Every time I come out. No. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there's so okay, many. We're all good. So I have we're one. All good. That's good. That's what I want to hear, no! Tango. No, oh, I'm dead right here. I'm dead. Half a heart. This game is dumb. Who designed it? No, no. <laughs> oh, you and oh, no, 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 no. A couple more times. There we go. Yes. You just whittled me down. How much health did you have? Oh. Uh, I had nine hearts. Oh. <laughs> when you said you had one heart left, it's like, okay, I'm not even going to try to get the TNT anymore. You don't need to. Gonna, yeah. Oh. I'm just going to wear you down. Man. I don't know how you're so accurate with that TNT. Like, every time I miss by a mile and you're just like, ding, ding. Just get me pinned down again. Well done. Well done. Good games. Good games. So, uh, that was listen, fun, though. There's a there's one thing I don't know if you noticed there when when the game starts, it's a yes it's it's really quiet. Like, wouldn't it be great if like some Tetris music was playing or something? What do you think? Oh, I I, I, see what you, she I is. mean, if I knew a guy that was really good at that, <laughs> I would ask him. Um, maybe the Tetris music, maybe something else. Okay, uh, all right. <laughs> I, I have looked at Tetris music before, and it's it, not very easy it, to do in this oh, game. Oh, really? I would think it'd be super easy. Okay, just a little eight-bit uh, music. But, but maybe, right. maybe. No, no, no. Whatever, whatever. But uh, if I mean, if you know a guy and he might want to come over and wave his magical wand, I'd pay handsomely. You know. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll try work something out here. Cool. Okay, that'd be great. Uh, hey, thanks for playing. That was fun. Thanks for kicking my butt. Yeah, I it was cool. It. <laughs>